Okay, so we have the lip, it's all been cleared and it's nice and cured. So what we're gonna be doing now is we are going to be applying a uh, tape, but we're gonna leave it off the edge just a little bit, okay? We're gonna follow this edge all the way around. So when Diaz tapes it, he's gonna tape it and doesn't need to be perfect. He just wants it to come maybe an eighth of an inch because then we're gonna come with our fine line tape around the edge so we can get it really nice and uh, crispy. Now once again, across this center portion, this is all supposed to be black, so we'll run the whole thing just about an eighth of an inch above where we want it to be black. So we have the rough tape job of all the areas that are gonna be painted trim black. Now it's not perfect yet. So what we're gonna be doing is applying our uh, masking paper over the whole area that we don't want to be black. Now I have 600 and we need to scuff the surface. We're gonna be very careful not to go too far. We're just gonna scuff this outer surface here. We can also use a gray scuff pad. It's equivalent to about 800. Okay, so let's get caught up. We had a lip needed a lot of work, had damage on the black portion and the silver. We sanded it down, we primed the whole entire thing, we painted it one color, now we're gonna come back with our trim. Now the most important thing we can do right now is clean, okay? If we want that trim tape to stick, we have to clean our tape areas, that's right. And even into the area that we're gonna paint, which is very important. Now here I'm using a solvent-based wax and grease remover, okay? And this is gonna further just remove any contaminants or anything like that that is gonna prohibit our tape from sticking. And notice I'm spraying it on my paper rag instead of the actual part because I don't wanna saturate the tape. I don't want the tape to lift any. Now we're ready to use our 3M Poly Precision Tape. Now I gotta admit, not many tapes are really good. They don't really last with the humidity down here in South Florida. They're gonna wanna go ahead and peel back on the curved area. So this actually has little ridges in it. Um, and what those ridges do is it helps the, cur the curve of the tape so that it doesn't lift. Now with the assist of the solvent-based cleaner, it's gonna help this stick even better. Now what I'll do is I'll get a long piece and I'll just start at the bottom and I'm just gonna follow that edge. Believe it or not, this isn't really hard. You don't want to stretch the tape too much. That's how it's going to live. Just slowly contour. The tape will allow you to. Now this is a quarter inch tape. This is what I prefer. You can even go down uh, in size if you want. But I love this size right here. Did you notice this little cool tape device? It's called a tape thing. I like it because you can really guide the tape easier and it's magnetic. So it sticks to the wall when you're not using it.
We'll first use a adhesion promoter just to make sure that our trim paint sticks. As I mentioned before, this is very frustrating. Sometimes it just do not hold. So I'll put it back on. But this time I'll take some tape and I'll go around the whole border just to give it a little bit extra support. Now the paint we're gonna be using is SEM Sem Trim Black Paint. This also comes in an aerosol can. I'll put both links in the description. And this just mixes up one to one with any quality reducer. And I'll be applying it with a SADA mini jet because we have some tight little areas that we have to get into. We have our paint loaded up now. We're gonna do about maybe three coats, but we're gonna go very light on this first coat. Now, while that first coat dries, if our bumper cladding had like a texture to it, then this would be the time that we would use it. I would spray my first coat on and then I would use this SEM uh, texture coating and you can kind of control the texture size by distance. So if you want a finer texture, you go about maybe 12 to 18 or if you want a little bit thicker or coarser, maybe around six to eight. We aren't going to use it because on this particular lip, it is a smooth black uh, finish. And that's what we're doing here. So looks like the first coat is all flashed off. We're going to go ahead now with our second and our third. Now we're waiting for that to dry. We're gonna wait about 20, 30 minutes before we actually peel off the paper. We got the big boy special here. All those big boys are saying, I'm 3XL, 2XL, all those mountain men. Man, we got your shirts right here and we actually made the logo bigger so it doesn't look so tiny on the shirt. Look at that right there. It's ready to go and it'll be on the shop. So uh, let's go back in there and let's peel off some uh, tape. All right, so we allowed it to dry for about a good 25 to 30 minutes, and it's good to go. We're going to start by just taking off gently our masking paper. Now, as you're starting to take off that masking tape, make sure you take off that um, fine line first. All right, so we have the rear lip all here, and man, does it look beautiful. How rewarding is it to take something that's been battered up, scratched up, paint it, and then return it to its original finish using a two-tone satin black paint? Well, we did the rear lip. We also did the front end.